And then the day after, I'm like, I'm feeling Eros tonight. Where do we go? <laughs> right. You know, Tom's, Eros, and Burgers gone in both Idaho Falls and Pocatello. What a shame, by the way. So where do you go? Firehouse, I know, has the Eros salad, which is okay. Not the same. Um, but then I remembered your brother uh-huh. <laughs> mentioned that Shaka's not only has uh, Eros, mm-hmm. but a beverage we've talked about on the show before. So go find the old episode if you're curious about Iron Port. Uh-huh. They've got it right there in their soda machine. Here's a shot. Iron Port is a beverage that was exclusively available mm-hmm. here in Salt Lake, basically. Yeah. A few surrounding bedroom communities. I think maybe one in Phoenix, one in Nevada somewhere. I think in Washington a little too, right? Maybe a little in Washington yeah. State. You can still get the syrup from the distributor in Logan. Mm-hmm. And by the way, Shaka's adjust your mix a little bit. Needs a little more. A little more syrup. Syrup in there. Which I have But it to... was so cool to have an Eero yeah. and some iron pork. Yeah, it was delicious. <laughs> Honestly, like, well, and we sat in your car and ate it yeah. <laughs> over the container like a couple of rats, and it was great. Yeah. You know? Dinner on the road. Yeah. I think my one note <laughs> that I would say for the Shack of Chevron Euros is that they need to cut their tomatoes and their cucumbers a little thinner and then yes. have more of them. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. everything on that euro is pretty thick. And also a little more tzatziki sauce would be nice. A little more tzatziki and go all the way up the pita. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Because I was That's having it. to kind of bite both places to get the right <laughs> mix in the mouth. <laughs> right. Right. But other than that, realistically, considering how few options there are to get a euro around here, not bad. And you might be wondering, where's the Shaka's place? It's... um. It's where Highway 20 meets Bell and Road and becomes mm-hmm. Grandview for like a block. Right. You know, like mm-hmm. if you're going to say the Idaho it, Falls Airport. Yeah, I was going to say it's right by the airport. In fact, uh, it, adjacent to Shaka's or in the same building or whatever is the Salt Lake mm-hmm. Express drop off and pick up location. Right. Oh, and did I see somebody posted that somebody, they went to a Valentine's dinner at Stockman's. Because they did make plans for Valentine's Day. <laughs> yeah, we really should have done something. <laughs> oh, oh, well, you Oopsies. know what? We'll do something next week. I guess somebody paid for their dinner, really? which was, isn't, oh. isn't that cool? Wow. We live in a town like that. That's really nice. Somebody with uh, deep pockets saw mm-hmm. a little couple having a nice little Valentine's dinner and said, hey, I want to pay for them. That's really nice, And did actually. they do it for two or three other tables? I don't know. but I kind of a- want to know. Did they look for the people who were the most in love or the people who were fighting? Right. That's kind of what I want to know. How does somebody determine who gets their dinner paid right? for? You know, honestly, that's the way to do it. Like, if I went out and I was having a great Valentine's and I had some extra money to just blow, I would look for the, like, most disconnected, upset-looking couple <laughs> in the joint. Yeah. And pay for theirs. Yeah. Because then they have nothing else to fight about the rest of the night. I just saw you a know? reel with Shaq. And I guess he goes to Walmart fairly routinely. I mean, everyone goes to Walmart, even Shaq. And looks for those mothers with the kids that are eyeing the expensive shoes. Oh, that's cute. Just hooks them up. Well, especially because he does that a lot. Well, and especially because I'm sure that he had a really hard time buying shoes when he was a kid. Yeah. I think I remember even reading that he, like, his mom had to special order his shoes and they were really expensive, so he couldn't get them very often or something. Yeah, was he size 15? I don't know Shaq's shoe size. He's got some massive feet. I know that. Yeah. I know that if I really wanted to, I could sleep in his shoe. It'd be fine. Like, if I ever became homeless, he could just donate a shoe to me and I'd I'd be okay. You could be the old lady that lives in (laughs) Shaq's shoe. I could. (laughs) <laughs> or in one of the potholes right? here yes. in Idaho Falls. I can't believe it's already pothole season. They haven't even finished filling in the the last one. Yeah. Another thing I saw in a group was somebody asking who has the best pho in town. Oh, really? And we know that in Pocatello, we've already awarded pho King Tasty oh, they're so good. with IFAF one week. I literally turned last to you summer. yesterday and said... Man, we really need to go back to Pho King Tasty. You did? Yeah. Yeah. It's one of, so good. It's one of those places you crave. Yeah. And those are, I don't want to say few and far between, but mm-hmm. close. Right. But they were a good value. The service was good. The people were nice, you know, and the food was just incredible. So in Idaho Falls, my favorite is D Kitchen. Mm-hmm. They just, and if you get it to go, man, they do a great job. They do. Nothing has ever leaked from D Kitchen ever. Yeah, actually, that's a good point. I don't know what kind of procedural manual they have there, but it's working, guys. Yeah. 
Now, you know, that being said, you and I have never been to Hot Springs Pho yet. No, we have not. Yeah. So we need to try that. You know what? Next time we're craving a new restaurant, that's where we're going. Okay, deal. Okay. Yeah, I'd like to try new places. Yeah. Even if it's a gas station and we eat the yeah. Eros on the road. <laughs> 